How's it going everybody, Budget Pokemon here, and in this video we're going to be opening this random assortment of booster packs. So I have three Astro Radiance, I have three Chilling Rain, hopefully we get another um, alternate art from these as we did last time. Uh, three Fusion Strike, two Shining Fates, which are going to be really nice, and I have this this singular Silver Tempest booster pack over. You know, after pulling the, um, the what should we call it, the Lugia, I kind of don't want to open Silver Tempest anymore. Because, well, we've already pulled the best card, but other than that, let's get straight into the opening. Um, this video will release um, a few days after hitting my 100 subscribers, so I just wanted to say thank you very much for everyone who did subscribe. That is an insane goal. I wanted to hit it by the end of, um, or before the end of the year. Didn't quite manage that, but that's fine. We did get there after all, or in the end, so that's really, really cool. The next goal would be a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, but we'll see how that will work out. That would be cool. But anywho, so let's get into this opening right here. Shrubbish, Totodile, got a Phantom, got a more Peko Reverse, and we've got a Cloister Non-Holographic. Nothing in that one. But that's fine, we still got plenty to go. Let's go for Fusion Strike with the Mew artwork. This better give us... This better give us um, good luck. It's hard to open, but it means there must be something good inside. That's how it works, right? That is how it works. There you go, code card. Let's do three to the front. Energy right here. Let's see what we can get here. Togedemaru. Schoolboy. Primeape. Shinx. Got a Baneri. Got a Basculin, got a Grubbin, got a Mankey, a Geodote, and a non-holographic Huntail. Okay, starting off with bad luck, but we did that in the Silver Tempest opening too. Maybe our luck will turn around. But anywho, I did have a poll uh, on the channel about which which booster box to um, to buy, which. Um, Violet and Scarlet booster box to buy. You know, the first um, Violet and Scarlet expansion will release on 20th of January over in Japan. And at the time of recording, Violet is still leading. I'll leave it up for a couple of days, in fact. And then just, um, I don't know, with the counting or whatever you want to call it, stop the votes and then buy whichever box won. And Agron on holographic. Agron is kind of cool. That's a pretty cool Gen 3 Pokemon. Let's mix it up a bit. Where's some Astral Radiance? Here we go. Astral Radiance. I do actually have a um, 100 subscriber special planned. I didn't expect it, to be honest. I should have I should have prepared something. I should have prepared something for the 100 subscriber special. Because I knew it was coming at some point. But, I have a Dream League booster box opening planned for, for that, um, for that special. And also maybe a giveaway, which is going to be interesting. But more details probably at the end of January, I think. A Bomber Snow Trainer Gallery card, nice. And a Hizuian Ligand. There you go, this is a pretty, pretty cool Ligand. I really would love to pull this, the alternate art of the, of the Ligand. Because the alternate art of the of the Hizurian League end looks super super cool. I really like the that alternate art. And it's it's actually pretty cheap too, surprisingly. Like, that is pretty cheap. I mean, Astral Radiance, I do have to say, Astral Radiance is one of my favorites from from last year. And maybe even from I don't want to say from all of Sword and Shield. But it's definitely up there because there are so many awesome pulls that you can get in Astro Radiance, which people just seem to discard. But I, I really like Astro Radiance, but let's see Fusion Strike. Let's see what, what Fusion Strike can give us. And nothing, just a non-holographic. No, no luck with the Fusion Strike. We have the Silver Tempest, we have some Astro Radiance and Chilling Rain. Let's do one more Chilling Rain. And then let's do the singular Silver Tempest. But yeah, I, I like opening these random booster packs once in a while. It's a nice change of pace from a from just opening a certain product. 
Speaking of certain products, it should be um, just a few days now until Crown Zenith and in fact until the um, Scarlet EX and Violet EX boxes release. The Japanese boxes will take a bit of time until I actually get them in hand and can record the videos. But the Crown Venice should be should be earlier, so it's back. Crown Venice. I'm hoping for I'm hoping to get the the Crown Venice like in time, you know, on on the date of the release, which I don't know if that's possible or if that's realistic or not. But we're gonna see in a second. Silver Tempest, a singular Silver Tempest. I mean. There's no way we can pull something from a singular Silver Tempest booster pack, right? There's just no way. But I would be happy to be proven wrong. Rotom. Baneri. Greepy. We've got a Fanpy. Curlia. And we've got an Ursaluna V. Okay, so we did get a pull in the end. We did get a nice V. That's... that's not nothing. I take this any day of the week over a um, a non-holographic or just irregular holo. Here we have the Shining Fates, one of the only two. Let's let's save let's save the Charizard artwork for last. Open the Corviknight one. Very carefully, there we go. Don't know which way the code card is. Okay, the code card is this way, which is very confusing. There is the code card, should be three to the front. The fourth one is the energy, of course. That's a really off-centered energy, dang it. And let's see, Rusted Shield, Dartrix, Luxio, Trap Inch, got a Coughing, got a Shinx, a Weasel, Nicket, very cute, we've got an Eldegoss, and we've got a more Peck OV. Okay, so we've got another pull from Shining Fates, a more Peck OV. Let's see, we have Astro Radiance. Okay, let's, let's go for the for the second to last Astro Radiance pack. See what we can get in in this one right here. But yeah, I'm I'm interested to see what the Scarlet and Violet era of Pokemon will bring us. I mean, we already know that EX Pokemon are making a return. We've known that for for a long time now. But I'm interested, like. What's gonna happen? Are they just gonna do, like, EX alternate arts or something like that? Because I would assume they would continue to do alternate arts, right? Because the alternate arts are so nice. Nice, we've got an Adamon Holo. Because the, the alternate arts are so, so nice. I really, really like the alternate arts. Even though I don't have that many of them. The ones that I do have, I really do, do like. I might do a video at some point like showing off my binder. I don't want to do it right now because I have to admit my binder isn't that isn't that big. It's just a few cards, but the cards that are in there are really near and dear to my heart. But we'll see. At some point I might do that. Cast form, sphere. Atena, rock rough playing in the snow. We've got a shop it and we've got a Zarina. So far, so far we've only had three pulls. Not even a full art trainer, which is kind of a letdown. You know, I do like full art trainers. Um, at the time of recording this, I still haven't sent in my my Japanese full art trainers, plus a few other odd oddities, to CGC. But don't worry, I still plan on doing that. I will, I will get to it at some point. I hope. Might have to push it back one month, but we'll see. Anywho's, Arzelf. We've got a shield on. We've got an Uxie. We've got a Psyduck. Togepi. We've got a Magnemite. Ralts. This is a really cool opera. I really like this one. Dewey and Sneasel. We've got a Ponyta. And we have something. Nope, we have just have an Arcanine. A Hizuian Arcanine. Okay. We have one last chance to pull something great. How about the, the Charizard VMAX? You know, the one card that everyone is chasing in Shining Fates. How about that? That would make for, for an awesome video. Like, literally the last pack possible to pull something. That would make for an interesting video. Let's see, here's the code card for Shining Fates. 
Let's do three to the front. Put the energy right here. Got a lightning energy, and we have a Tropius. Got a team, team Yellow Towel. Floatzel. We've got a Buzel. Buzel and Floatzel. Okay. We've got a Grookey. Qfent. Got a Snum. Very cute. Got a Yanma. Got a Rowlet Reverse. And we have nothing. Boss's orders. Okay. Well, anyways. We've still gotten three pulls. Nothing too impressive, but three pulls nonetheless. Two V Pokemon and one Trainer Gallery card. This is just the reality of opening Pokemon cards. It's not just alternate arts here and there. No, this is the reality. Um, but anyways, once again, thank you so much for 100 subscribers. This, that's incredible for me personally. And I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, if you like this video, then give it a like. Uh, subscribe to stay tuned for more content in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.